Today I'm going to teach you the difference between old math and new math. Today's lesson is on two digit addition. You will recognize this piece of paper. The layout is called vertical addition. This layout shows the numbers in line so that the problem is easily solved on paper. To solve this problem we need to add our ones first. I know that 8 plus 4 equals 12 so I put a 2 down here and a 1 up the top. Now we need to add our tens. I put the 1 at the top here so that plus 2 equals 3 plus 5 equals 8 so I place an 8 down the bottom. That gives us our answer 82. Although this is an effective strategy and it does give us the correct answer, it's not the best strategy to use. If you are at a shopping center and you need to add numbers together, you really do need the piece of paper and a pen to solve the problem. You could work out the problem inside your head, but if you do this, you wouldn't actually use the strategy anyway. New math is all about numeracy, which is the ability to understand and work with numbers. In new math, the students get presented with word problems which relate to the world outside the classroom. The students learn to take important clues from the word problems to create number problems. In this case, the students will be able to identify the numbers 28 and 54. The word total is a clue to let the students know that they need to add these two numbers together. Once the students have these two numbers, they separate them into tens and ones. 28 has two tens and eight ones. 54 has five tens and four ones. The students will learn to add the tens together first. This is the biggest difference between old math and new math. They will know that these two numbers can make up eight tens and then two ones, which equals 82. Alternatively, the students will use horizontal math to solve the number problem. This is how most people, including adults, solve number problems inside their heads. The students will recognize the tens and the ones. They will add their tens together first to get 70 and then their ones together to get 12. Then they can repeat the process to get an answer of 82. Once the students learn these strategies, they will no longer need a pencil and paper when solving problems in the shopping center.